Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. To start off my wash day on my crochet install, I'm using the Aussie 7-in-1 conditioner and shampoo. And you can see that my hair is soaking wet from the pool because I got the camera lens all wet. And this is what I'm starting out with straight out of the water and then just hopping in the shower. I'm going to take some shampoo after rinsing out all of the chlorine and just lather that from root to tip and even under the cap, on the edges, everywhere. Wash it as if it's your own. And then once that's completely rinsed out, and make sure that you go in between your knots to make sure that the cap in your hair is also rinsed out, you want to follow it up with some conditioner and I just leave that to set in while I finish washing up and doing everything else I have to do in the shower. And excuse my ratchet 2008 YouTube video setup, I'm on vacation, but I had to make sure I got y'all this video like you requested. Out of the shower, I let it air dry for about 10 minutes in my towel and it's better to use a t-shirt than a towel because it will help with frizz and then following up with the Aussie Moist Insurance Leave-In Conditioner, I'm just sectioning off my hair into about four sections and going through and spraying that. Do not, do not run a comb or a brush through this. We're going to do all of the work with our fingers and just make sure that it's moisturized and your hair underneath is moisturized as well. You cannot neglect your natural hair. Then I'm just going to reposition the curls to get that flip over look that I got or achieved in the first video when I did the install. Next, going in with my Evo Styler on the edges. You can either use this or edge control, but because my hair was wet, I thought that the Evo Styler would be better because it works well with wet hair. <laughs> And then just continue to separate all over. For some reason, the curls tend to clump together in the water. So you're going to have to keep separating it until it's dry. And then I go in with my hair dryer on a warm setting or cool. I was switching between warm and cool because you don't want it too hot to melt the synthetic hair. And I just went in and made sure that my hair underneath as well as the crochet was mostly dry. After more separation and the curls were mostly dry, I went in and put that on top just to seal in the moisture from the leave-in and to give it some weight to get rid of the frizz and then literally just keep on separating. <laughs> I did this routine multiple times while I was on vacation and the curls bounced back every single time like they had never been touched so to answer all the questions, yes you absolutely can swim with Lazy Girl Crochet and wash it. I hope this video was helpful to you all and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I can't